Hi, I'm Kat Welch. I'm a senior on the women's softball team, and this is Eye of the Tiger. The differences between baseball and softball, our games are, are shorter. Everything's shorter. The fences are shorter. The bases are shorter. Everything's shorter, so it makes for kind of just like a compact version of baseball. Um, there's a lot of similarities, but major differences are just like the length, um, the, sh the small game, bunting, slapping is huge in softball, and that's not really, really utilized in baseball. Also, the fact that we can live on two pitchers for an entire season, or you know, some teams live on one pitcher an entire season, uh, whereas baseball, I mean, you have to have, what, like six maybe at least? But softball, girls can throw every game if need be. It's a natural motion, like the under, the underhand motion is natural, so it doesn't bother our arms. Um, so pitchers can throw just way more innings than a baseball pitcher can. Softball's tough. It, it's very uh, mental and physical. I mean, a lot of it is just is all in your head. Um, up at bat, swinging, picking pitches. There's a lot of mental to it, like mental side to it, and then. Working, it's individual, it's a very individual sport because I mean everyone just looks at your, at your batting average and they look at your fielding percentage. So it's very individual while at the same time you're in a group that needs to perform together. I mean you're only, you're pretty much only as strong as your weakest link. So I think just working as a team, constantly trying to better yourself. I'm constantly trying to stay up and positive with my teammates because I know everyone feeds off each other. So I think just, you know, being you, staying true to yourself, and being encouraging to the people around you and making it like the best situation possible. I've just learned that it's, it's important to work well with others. My favorite part of the game is definitely hitting. I, I absolutely love hitting, it's my favorite part. There's no better feeling than just hitting a line drive somewhere and rounding first and knowing like you did your part. My dad used to say that I hit so well because I played tennis growing up. So he said I had great hand-eye contact, so I always saw the ball really well. Um, so they used to harp on how great tennis is, and my old high school coach used to love that too, and he told all the girls to play tennis and, and whatever to, to make everyone better hitters. Um, I think that's a part of it, just hand-eye contact, seeing the ball. Um, and then I just hit my best when I'm relaxed, when I'm up there confident that I'm going to get a hit, not worrying about anything else, just knowing, you know, I'm going to beat this pitcher for sure. I am a great hitter. I will beat this girl. And I like to think that I'm a pretty positive person on the field. I like to make sure I'm talking at shortstop a lot, staying um, like in contact and speaking with the pitcher, keeping everyone positive. So I think maybe my voice out there is, is kind of a strength, just constantly talking. Even if I'm not making sense, a lot of times I don't make sense and I'm just repeating things and I sound goofy and I think I sound ridiculous, but just having that chatter, I think helps everyone. It's hard not to expect the world every game. You know, I want to be four for four every game. I want to make every single play. I want to make every single ball, get every single ball up the middle. It's not always possible. And sometimes I think I'm a, I'm a little too hard on myself and everyone has those off days and I kind of just need to Sometimes relax about it because I know the rest of my team will get it done. It's not, you know, it's not just I'm not the end all be all by any means. So it's it's good for me to sometimes just relax and remember that like you don't have to be perfect every game. I'm majoring in sociology and I just completed my thesis. It's such a wonderful feeling being done with it, knowing that I wrote, you know, 90 pages of my own own work and for my thesis, I studied physical education in New Jersey middle schools, and I was just kind of looking for teachers that reinforce gender and racial discrimination, like stereotypes, in teaching PE um, because physical education, since it's sports, kind of a male-dominated arena. I wanted to see if you could see that in physical education, so that was pretty interesting to see. I studied a private school, public school, at a charter school. Um, and, and it was fun, it was, it was fun to research and, and talk to these PE teachers. Throughout these four years, it's just been a wonderful time and I'm just, I feel pretty lucky that I get to be a part of this, that I get to even be sitting here with you and talking about softball. It's just, it's just really cool and I know that I'm you know, really going to miss it. I'm going to miss playing with these girls and playing softball every day. So hopefully I'll just be a ringer on the softball team for whatever company I work for. I guess that's what I have to look forward to at this point. But um, it's been just a wonderful experience at Princeton.
Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Kat Welch, and this has been Eye of the Tiger.